There may be some significant updates coming to Animal Crossing New Horizons as detailed by Nintendo Everything and coming from Ninji who made the original discovery and he shared a batch of new information so we'll highlight all of that and I also want to take you guys through a game called Void Bastards. Originally released on Xbox One and PC back in 2019, it's coming to Nintendo Switch on May 7th, looks awesome and it's inspired by some high quality games and you'll definitely want to know about that, we'll talk that in just a little bit. But first of all, I know a lot of you guys are spending a billion hours on Animal Crossing New Horizons already has a ton of content, already a fully featured game, but more features might be coming. Ninji has been poking through the files and code for Animal Crossing New Horizons, which may hint at some upcoming features. Nintendo Everything has rounded up the various tidbits, and I want to go over all of them. There's quite a bit, so bear with us. There's entries for two extra museum upgrades. All three levels after the tent seem to contain an art section. There also seems to be two standalone buildings, the Museum Shop and the Museum Cafe, which incorporates a gyroid section. Red appears to have a ship which will dock on the secret beach at the north of the island. That particular acre is called the N with a lot of Japanese letters internally. Uh, those letters actually translate to Red's Japanese name. The fake art mechanic is coming back. Bushes are coming back. Those might change. The list actually changed between 1.0.0 and 1.1.4. Vegetables that you can grow and pick. Tomato, wheat, sugar cane, potato, carrot, and pumpkin. 1.0.0 has a file for seafood uh, page that's supposed to contain 33 different items. The only one actually in the release game is the Manila Clam. And there's a third Nook's Cranny reference, but no details on features or upgrade requirements. Diving will allow you to obtain fish a different set from fishing and seaweed. There's a portion of the save file reserved to store them already. Unused shopping interfaces are there as well. These might not be full-fledged shops, but something smaller. This particular system includes Nook Miles Redemption, Bridge Slope type purchases, and Kick Shoes, for example. The code that pops up, a select an item box to give a villager to sell to swap a fish out for, has a lot of different options. Possibly will be able to give him stuff. There's a function that stores a play report Nintendo's aggregate stats on the game. Only the DIY one is actually ever used, so the other two might be in the plan. Some mentions st of stuff have been removed from 1.1 onwards. The list mentioning flower bush and vegetable names has been modified to list F blue, a VO, V1, a V2 instead. However, that might still be indicating the same thing. Tea shop is in what seems to be a list of doors that buildings can have. Since 1.1, they've added W office as well, which isn't actually used yet, but might be something they're working on. And there's a list of types for items where every type is used in the game except for art and dish which is noted below. Now obviously this is just a data mine so not everything is going to be confirmed, who knows if everything's even going to be utilized, but Nintendo will continue to roll out news about the game in the months ahead and expect Animal Crossing New Horizons to be a game that Nintendo themselves remain incredibly committed to because it has sold an absolutely obscene amount of copies. Now I expected Animal Crossing New Horizons to do well, did I ever expect it to sell the obscene amount of copies that it has? No, not in my wildest dreams. Animal Crossing has always been relatively popular, but these games are just getting Getting bigger and bigger now and New Horizons has exploded in popularity and that's actually pretty cool to see and we'll see more updates being rolled out for that game hopefully in the coming weeks and months all right moving on from that Animal Crossing has a lot of attention, but what about a game that doesn't have a significant amount of attention? Well, that's what I want to highlight with Void Bastards. That's coming to PS4 and Nintendo Switch on May 7th, and it's a game that's been released on uh, Steam as well as Xbox One, and it's inspired by Bioshock and System Shock 2. So those are some very, very strong inspirations to have. Void Bastards is touted to be a revolutionary new strategy shooter that will test your wits as well as exercise your aim. Can you lead the misfit prisoners of the Void Arc through the derelict spaceships and myriad dangers of the Sagrasso Nebula. Now, right away, when you look at Void Bastards, I feel like it's hard not to be an uh, animated by the visual style, or I should say enamored by the visual style. It is fantastic and definitely a unique look as far as that's concerned. Forget everything you know about first-person shooters as Void Bastards note. It asks you to take charge, not just point your gun and fire. Your task is to lead the ragtag Void Bastards out of the Sagrasso Nebula. You make the decisions where to go, what to do, and who to fight, and then you must carry out that strategy in the face of the strange and terrible enemies on board. Derelict spaceships, well, you'll plan your mission, taking note of the ship layout, what hazardous and enemies you might encounter, and what terminals and other ship systems you can use to your advantage. Move carefully through the dangerous ships, searching for supplies and manipulating control systems. React to what you find, and the gameplay will react to you as well. It features a 12 to 15 hour campaign, and again, that visual style is awesome. A little bit pricier at $29.99, and there will be the Bang TYDY downloadable content that'll be uh, available 
available to purchase day one for $4.99. So essentially $35 for the entire experience, but I really wanted to bring some attention to this game as there's a lot of games coming to the Nintendo Switch, but Void Bastard definitely stands out as one that's a really cool one. Again, it'll be out on May 7th, $29.99, and if you're a fan of first-person shooters, this is a rather interesting one and definitely should be on your radar. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, for you guys playing Animal Crossing New Horizons, enjoy the game as you are, but also do note that the game is going to get better and better with a plethora of updates that look to be coming from Nintendo. The data mine suggests a lot of stuff to be coming, but I'm sure Nintendo has a lot of other stuff under the hood planned as well, and that game is something that they're going to be invested into for a very long time. And if you are a fan of first-person shooters, please keep Void Bastards on your radar. That game looks really good, was received very well on PC, and now will be coming to Nintendo Switch as well as PlayStation 4 on May 7, so keep that on your radar. That's going to conclude this video. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.